Hello reformers and welcome back to a special feature of Dance of Death, Dulac and Fey. And this video is kindly sponsored by the developers. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I'd highly recommend checking it out because there may be some things that I don't quite mention in the video, but I think if you've already seen the first part and you're intrigued as much as I am, you're gonna have a fun time here. Oh yes. Anyway. We are now in London. We were in Norway before, and we are now in London attempting to ascertain the location of Merlin. And we're going to see if we can uh, progress a little bit further here. So let us turn the page, and we are going to be assessing the various sketches that we have made here. The severed heart. Oh, it could mean anything. The image to bring us here. No good. Keep looking. A woman? Clothed in red. Without a face or a name, she is of no use. A flower atop a mound of earth. Hmm, too vague. A place of worship. Yes, that might work. Ask anyone here if they know of such a building. Ah, there we go. All right, so we had a little bit of a sketchbook there and we tried to write down as much as we could from the vision that we gained from the demon and what we're going to do now is we're going to try and speak to a couple of people this guy looks like he could definitely Please, use someone to speak to out, i can do twice the work of any man i told you to pack out of here have you no mercy this is my last chance i've tried everywhere else for the last time, I ain't hiring no lag. Not when I've plenty of decent men with families that need feeding. Now that's the end of it. Whoa, whoa, okay. That's, that's kind of harsh. That's kind of harsh. I mean, if he needs money, then he's going to need to, you know, do some work for it. All right, so let's see what he has to say. Fortune forsakes you. I won't leave, sir. I've just as much right to work here as anyone else. You can tell Jack I said that. Who is Jack? Aren't you from the Merchant Company? I am but a traveler, under no company's charge. Oh. My apologies. Not many willing to even consider the likes of me for a job, let alone allow them to loiter. But I have no choice, even if it is hopeless. A man has to eat. Well, that is very, very true. And uh, I should actually mention that the game has been fact-checked by numerous people to make sure that everything is as historically accurate as possible. And who is Jack, you ask? Well, of course, because this game does center around the Ripper story. And you know you know what his name is? Oh, it's, it just so happens to be Jack, so I don't know whether he's the guy that is doing all of this, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, what do we want to choose? You show willing... Offer coin, he did not trust you. You show willing, I guess. If you are willing, you shall find work. I don't think the world cares how willing I am. But thank you for your kind wish, sir. It is rare. If I can help you with anything, let me know. Mayhap you recognize this church. <sighs> I'm afraid I have not been to church in quite some time. I think another here might better help you. Well, good luck. May I ask your name? Ferdinand. And yours? Dulac. At your service. I... Well, I'm very glad to make your acquaintance, Mr. Dulac. Good day. Hmm, I was actually wondering whether I should have given him some coin. If I gave him some coin, maybe he would have looked more favorably upon us, and maybe in the future he would help us out more than what we did just now. Oh well, never mind. I'm going to live with the with the choice, and we're, we're going to just continue onward. So the cool thing, of course, about the fact that we have two different characters that we can select is that there are numerous animals in the game that you can, of course, converse with if you are selecting Fae. So we're going to do that in just a second, but I'm going to speak to the guy that rung, rung the young other guy out, and uh, we're going to see if uh, he has any information for us. I beg pardon, sir. If you're hoping for work, put in your name and white like the others. Ooh, work. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm actually just going to say, I seek your aid. Mine only hope is that you shall aid your fellow man. Do I look like the aiding type? 
fouler beasts than you have surprised me. Sigh what? Please, have you knowledge of this place here drawn? Christchurch, any fool knows that. Be it far, head out the gate and keep going. Nah, walk your chalks, I've work to do. Ah, well, I wasn't expecting him to be too friendly, but uh, maybe I made a slight misstep with my conversation. Uh, that's exactly what happens with conversational adventure sort of games. You are going to have vastly different experiences depending on what you choose, and that's exactly the reason why it might be an idea to check it out yourself. Anyway, I'm actually going to... <laughs> shall I Shall I listen to the gulls? I could I could talk to the other the other dog over here if we want to. Let's listen to the gulls. I think the gulls might be kind of fun. Oh, oh yeah. Hello there. See it, John. Who's looking this way? Uh, can it hear us? Do you think? I think they can. You know. Blimey, John. Does her look hungry to you? We're safe up here, ain't we? Her can hear us, can't she? Quickly, John. Act normal like. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Ah, yes. Okay, they did. Mm, fantastic. All right, so we're not going to speak to the other dog. I think there might, there will definitely be some more humorous dialogue there. So yeah, I'll I'll let you do that if you if you decide to play the game as well. And we're going to go into the next street. All right, so it's time to explore a little more around here. And technically, I could speak to a couple of people on the street here, but I kind of want to go into the police station. I feel like the police station is probably going to have a pretty decent amount of information for us. Oh, look at that. We can actually go inside. I was actually thinking, oh, maybe we're not able to go inside, but we are. And uh, let's see if anyone is actually even here. Maybe they're not even here. Maybe they're just relaxing out the back. No, no, no. There we go. We do have someone. Good day, sir. Afraid I'm not on duty. Happy to help, though. What can I do you for? Ah, what can he do us for? Hmm, I am somewhat new to the area, or any news of the area? Hmm. Hmm, any news of the area? What has occurred here of late? London is not as I remember. Well, I imagine you hail from a little further afield? Norway. We arrived by ship this morn. Long journey, that is. Apologies on behalf of the city, then, sir. Though I must ask what you expect from an area such as Whitechapel. Full of costers and drunkards, sir. Them types have little will to work. Well, that is a fine attitude to hold. See? Your round agrees. May I recommend you get further west, sir? You'll hold a better class of company there. And some gentlemen such as yourself could end up in quite a spot of bother, given Whitechapel's current affairs. These affairs of which you speak, well, a man's got to be careful what with all them killings about. Attracts all kind of unsavory folk. This one has a loose tongue. Who has been slain? My mistake, uh, my mistake. Can't go talking about that now, can we? Oh, Francis. Uh, do us a favour, sir. Don't go telling his superiors. Shouldn't have said that. What with public alarm and all. Oh. He shouldn't have said that. Do you hear? Oh yes, he shouldn't have said that. Let us attempt to probe him further. You're quite the man of mystery, sir. Some would have it that you step right out of one of them penny dreadfuls. Oh, is that a reference? It is? I think it's a reference, yeah. It's, it's definitely a reference. Francis, 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 do watch that mouth of yours. There's a rare old show at the Lyceum. Macbeth, it is. So old Thick says. He's a cultured man and all. All right. Well, it seems like he probably does not have anything more to say to us at the moment. And so, we know that there are some slayings going on. And, uh, well, we're probably going to end up investigating them, let's face it. All right. So, let us move on to the next area. Right. So, we are now in a street with Wittock's Wonders and a chemist, and we also have Jay Shuttleworth. Oh, wait a minute. Let me speak to the orange... It, orange seller? Yes. Fancy an orange, sir. Why ever not? How much? Hey, Penny, please. A half penny for the young lady. Hope you enjoy it, sir. If you come back later, I'll save a morsel for my dinner for your dog. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Sir, did you see that? 
I think she is me. We must be going, child. Thank you for the orange. My pleasure, sir. I'm here all day if you get peckish. All right, fantastic. Okay, so that's going to obviously be very pleasing to Faye's ears, because obviously she's she's always hungry. Oi, sir, fancy seeing where old Polly met her end? It'll cost mine, but I knows how to get us there quick like. There has been a death. Of course there has. Getting on a week and the paving's still red with her blood. I've seen it with me own eyes. <sighs> Shoo him away. Hey, and don't worry about no crowds gawking neither. I knows how to clear them out. You'd have the spot all to yourself. Dulac, this does not concern us. Go away, boy. Eh, dog's not like to bite, is it? Haha, <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> we could say that. We could say, she grows ever more quarrelsome with age. Or, methinks you rile her. But, uh, yeah, no, we're probably not going to say that. We'll, we'll say, be not afraid. She is well commanded. Because, who knows? A native, such as this child, might be able to lead us exactly to where we want to go. And while it may not be the church which we seek, we could potentially come across a murder mystery of our very own. And of course, we, we already know that someone has been slain, so it might be the very person he spoke of. Be not afraid. She is well commanded. I must be off, child. My path leads elsewhere. Where's that then, sir? Christchurch. Farthing sees you to the steps. Outrageous! Ah, okay, so here's the thing. I actually hoped that we would be able to accept his offer of showing us to the, well, murder scene, I suppose. But uh, apparently that's not the case. So we could technically take up his offer, but I'm actually going to forego it because I think I can probably find it myself pretty easily. I must forego the offer. All right, there you go. Thank you very much for that. I could speak to that guy, but I think he's i think he's just selling some things, and it's probably going to be a similar conversation to the orange seller, I think. Anyway, let's go through to the next street. Now, who shall we speak to in this area? Well, I can see a couple of outliers right here. So I can see there's actually a, a what looks like a cat over there. So we might want to speak to that. And there's also a beggar-looking fellow over there. And who else do we want to speak to? So let's just wander into the crowd and see if there's anyone. The number of columns, the steeple, even the clock face. This is it. Well, thank you very much, Faye. I kind of assumed that that was indeed the case. So uh, is, there, is there no one actually to speak to here? I think there might be, but uh, maybe I should just go into the church first and then we'll see what's actually going on in there. And then uh, maybe we can progress the main story a bit. It's very grand, what you would expect from a church, of course. A lot of wonderful light coming in as well. Who's that over there? I wonder whether we can speak to him. Well, what say your nose? Does the wizard here reside? Oh, I struggle to detect anything past the stench of rotting corpse. But no, he's not here. Then why show it us in the mirror? I do not know. This place has meaning. It must. I am ready to leave. Ready to leave already? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I would have expected that we would have been here a little bit longer, but uh, maybe if I switch to Faye, maybe she's going to be able to pick up on something with her increased sense of smell or something like that, I don't think that would be the case. I think it would probably give me some kind of auditory hint to do that, you know, through them actually speaking, obviously. So let's just play as Dulac here for a second. I'd like to try and get close to this guy. I don't think he's actually conversational. It doesn't seem like... Oh, he is! Is there something I may help you with, sir? I do not know your face, sir, so I shall assume you are not from around here. Do take your time admiring the church. I insist. If you've coin to spare, might I suggest putting it in the alms box? All donations, no matter how small, are greatly appreciated. 
Ah, interesting. Okay, so I did not realize that you could actually speak to that guy. I mean, it's kind of obvious that you'd, you'd expect that, so that's great. It's kind of nice that we were able to do that, but I have no idea where the Alms box is, so I'm just going to get out because that's what our current objective is, and we may return here in the future. I would assume that will probably be the case. So let's just move out here. Surely you did not expect to find him so soon. No. Yes. <sighs> you must think me a damned fool. Do not rush to disagree. I shall not. Night gathers. It would be wise to seek a room. Somewhere close by. Tiredness has suddenly crept upon me. As you wish. Ah, all right. So we're going to be looking for a room. Well, this is going to be kind of interesting because I don't think we've passed any hotels, so to speak. So I suppose we're going to have a look around. Maybe I should go down this way or maybe I can go over that way. Ah, maybe in here. Ah, this looks like a bar to me. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to have a room available, however. I seek a room. You're in luck, sir. Going vacant this very morning. What price do you ask? Crown a night. Dulac, this place is a hovel. He should be paying us. Yeah, well, you can forget it if your dog keeps growling like that. Can't be having no feral beasts under this roof. Oh, I see. Well, that's, that's not very nice, you know. That's not very nice. Feral, have you seen your clientele? We object to being cheated. Uh, you know what? I, that's the thing. I do, I do want to have a room here, but I don't really want to just lie down and be basically be like, yes, sir, anything you like, sir, you know, kind of thing. So, hmm, we object to being cheated. The dog but objects to being cheated. I too. Yeah, you can't talk to me like that. That's slander, that is. It is the truth. You will accept two shillings, or the room stays vacant, and with it your purse. Oh, now, my friend, let's not be hasty. Then it is settled. Rooms atop them stairs. Ah, there you go. We're a little bit savvy, aren't we? Yes, a little bit savvy. Should I speak to the landlord again? He's probably just going to give me some attitude, isn't he? Probably. Let's see what he has to say. We don't make breakfast for our lodgers. You and your mutt will need to sort that out yourself. Ah, yes, as I anticipated. Attitude, attitude, and attitude. That is all that he is going to give us from now on, no doubt. And we will now head upstairs. Oh. It appears we require a coin. Heads mattress, tails the floor. Heads! Ah, good. You're awake. Oh, how long have I slept? But a few hours. My mind would not allow it. The floor did little to help. What are you drawing? A map of whence we have so far travelled. Oh, then you think we should stay? We could do much good here. Someone's changed their tune. Out with it. I can see you're dying to tell me something. I have been thinking. Never a good thing. Of that woman's murder. What woman? The one the boy told us of. Polly, Mrs. Nichols. Before you ask, no, we're not giving her relatives any money. Your wit astounds. I found a newspaper which details her crime. Cast your eye over it. Ah, yes, it's getting even better now. I love hunting for clues in these kinds of games. It really gets the mind churning, if you know what I mean. It gets it, I mean, considering my mind is a rusty old bucket filled with cobwebs, uh, yes, it does do me some good, doesn't it? 
Right, so we can analyze a couple of different things here. Buck's Row, the side her body was found. Ah, the Whitechapel murder. The coroner's inquiry into the dreadful murder of Mary Ann Nichols was on Monday adjourned until the 17th. But all day yesterday, informal discussions were going on among the inhabitants of the locality in which it occurred. At every street corner, gossips clustered around anybody who could give the fullest particulars of the inquest. And the end of Buck's Row, the spot on which the body had been found, was throughout the day seen of eager debate as to the probabilities of discovering the criminal. Hmm. Groups of hard-featured, sorrowful-looking women clustered together and bent over what they supposed to be the blood-stained paving stones, and told strange stories of the difficulties credibly reported to be always experienced in the obliterating the marks of human gore. People in the neighborhood seem very much divided in the opinions as to the probability of it being the work of one person or several. The women, appearing to show a shuddering dread at the thought of being abroad in the streets after nightfall, had their fears expressed by the more nervous of them. "'Thank God I needn't be out after dark!' ejaculated one woman. "'No more needn't I!' said another. But my two girls have got to come home latish, and I'm all of a fidget till they comes. Nothing appeared to have caught the attention of anybody except some story of murderous outrage, every detail of which they had likely already lived. Very rough and coarse were many of these men and women and girls who, from hour to hour, gathered about the little thoroughfare to talk over this awful mystery. But somehow it was not the roughness which most impressed the observer. If any word was said in prejudice with regard to the victim, it was immediately met with an empathetic expression of pity and compassion of the hapless woman's faults and frailties. No matter what, she was the poor thing. Taint for us to judge her now. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, so the next bit. Hmm. Oh, this is actually a different thing. This is an inf infanticide? In infanticide? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely terrible at saying these kinds of things. All right, so, yeah, that, I'm not entirely sure if this has anything to do with it. I... I don't think so, somehow. Ah, they're, they're, oh, wait a minute. Uh, inquiries made by police. Suspect identified. A description of the villain they seek. Leather apron, they call him. Hmm. It seems Whitechapel streetwalkers bear the brunt of his wrath. The officers of the Criminal Investigation Department, having received certain information with respect to a man known throughout the districts of Bethnal Green and King's Cross by the nickname of Leather Apron, and who, it is alleged, for some time past has been threatening and ill-using a number of women, have been busily engaged in searching different lodging houses and casual wards throughout the metropolis in the hopes of tracing out this man. But whether he is in any way connected with the murder of Mary Ann Nichols or not cannot be ascertained. The description of the man wanted is aged 30 years, height 5 foot 3, oh, okay, complexion dark, Sallow, hair and moustache black. Wait a minute. I have seen someone like this, haven't we? Hmm, anyway, let us continue. Dressed in old and dirty clothing and is of Jewish appearance. It is being stated that the murdered woman was seen in the company of this man a few hours after before her body was discovered. He ought to at least be an important witness in the adjourned inquest. Does that not remind one of Ferdinand, the fellow that we spoke to at the very beginning of the episode? Is that just me? Or may maybe it is. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at the next bit where they are talking about the inquiries made by the police. See here. It speaks of abdominal mutilation. This is all wonderfully intriguing, Dulac, but why does this concern me? Was one of the visions not a severed heart? So, this mentions nothing of the sort. Nor is it denied either. Does our being here so close to the event have no import whatsoever? Ah, oh, you're not going to let this go, are you? Oh, what do you suggest? This newspaper is but one account. Other people might know more. A doctor, mayhap. Detailed examinations would have been undertaken. 
But how to find such a man? The police. They are not likely to divulge such information to us. Then I shall persuade them. I take it eating first is out of the question. It is not as though I am unaccustomed to starvation. Ah, and I think we know a certain policeman with some loose lips with which to potentially grease. <laughs> ah, anyway, I think that will be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, then by all means, check out the link in the description because that will take you to the Steam store page. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.